All right. Hey, gang. Well, welcome back. Um, some of you expressed some interest in my wood stove powered lighting solution. And uh, so I thought I'd share how I did that. It's really simple. Basically, we've got a few components we need to make our light. Um, what we do is we take a low cost tag. This is a TEC. Uh, 12706. You can get them on Amazon for like three or four bucks. It's out of focus, but that's okay. Um, so you need one of those, and that's going to provide your power. So they're really low heat handling. They'll, they're made with solder, and much above 300 degrees, I think, maybe even a little less, and they start to melt and they fail. Um, so what you need to do is you need to Put a heat sink definitely on the top to get the heat away from the top, and I put a heat sink on the bottom as well. So, so you'll need a tag, and you'll need a couple heat sinks. Um, this is a little one out of a Asus computer. This is a bigger one out of a Dell computer. So, you get your tag, a couple heat sinks. What I do is just simply sandwich that tag between two heat sinks. Assemble it like that, um, and then that will just set on top of your wood stove, and you'll need to play with positioning um, to get the spot that's warm enough to make it light, but not so hot that it melts the thing. And you can tell, uh, well, I su suggest you buy a couple of those tags and <laughs> learn, but you can tell by how bright the lights are uh, once you kind of get it figured out. So you can get a thermal epoxy thermal adhesive this is silver adhesive arctic silver adhesive and you can put that you can glue that assembly together using this stuff not necessary uh, but it will give you a little better better thermal conductivity between those components so that's our generation unit and that's all there is to it um, like i said i've been playing with fans as well so to make a fan i do the same thing i just stand that guy up like that. I put the tag there and then I've made this little fan <laughs> doesn't fit in the frame very well. Fan heat sink assembly and I just set that right on top. You know obviously I route the wires better and there's a fan. Um, now the tags make very low voltage, extremely low. I was able to source these little motors on Amazon and that'll actually spin pretty well um, just off the tag and run that fan just fine. So that's a neat way to make yourself a little eco fan. And they're pretty simple and straightforward. So you can just wire that tag right to the motor and you're done. Now the lighting's a little trickier. The lighting, um, you know, LEDs, they want to see between usually three and three and a half volts or something like that to make them light. Unfortunately, the tag only puts out like half a volt using this. Um, configuration. So we need to boost that voltage. There's a real simple circuit. You can find instructions for it online. Uh, the one I like is on Instructables, uh, but there's a million videos and all that about it. And it's called a Jewel Thief. You need a couple parts. You need a transistor, uh, a 2N3904 NPN. I got this one at Radio Shack. Um, they're a lot cheaper if you buy them in bulk, but whatever. Um, you'll need some LEDs. Again, Radio Shack LEDs. And then a resistor. I don't have an example here, but you need a uh, 1000 ohm resistor. Again, available at Radio Shack. And the last thing you'll need is a little toroid. And that's this little donut here. And I got that salvaged out of an old broken CFL light bulb out of the base. You can split the base open and find the toroid in there. And then you need some magnet wire to wind your own. Um, toroid. And again, the instructions there on Instructables do a good job. There's eight, I think, winds of a um, pair of that magnet wire makes the uh, to wrap around the toroid there. And then you follow the instructions. And I like this to use these little uh, soldering breadboards, I guess you'd call it, to mount my components. So I got my transistor, a resistor, 
and my toroid that I wound. And then I'm up to, uh, what is this, five LEDs, and it seems like I can run a lot more. I haven't really pushed the limits of how many I can run yet, but I've got one 10 millimeter uh, and four five millimeter LEDs, and I think you can really um, probably stack those pretty deep and get quite a bit of light. So I fit this all into this little housing, and uh, it's pretty rickety. <laughs> You guys are probably used to this from me by now, but um, I just sort of tuck it in there, kind of pressure fits in there, and that's it. So it's just that simple to make. Uh, the Jewel Thief circuit is probably the most complicated part. Don't be scared of it. Just dive in, give it a try. My first one didn't work. Um, I think I had the wrong transistor, but uh, but stick with it. You'll get it. Now when you're playing with the tags, you got to use a meter or something to figure out which side goes up to make your voltage go the right way so I marked mine that side up and that's that so the stove's off right now middle of the day I'm running on the mass uh, but as we get into evening time and the sun goes down and we can see the lights go on I'll film a second part and we'll watch her light up um, okay see you in a bit alright well hey gang welcome back uh, so it's dark obviously Got the stove going and got the light. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on the screen. Um, but as you can see, our little tag powering the LED lights through the Jewel Thief is lighting up the bench pretty good. Um, definitely enough to read by, for sure. And I don't know how well this will translate on the camera. Um, but there's a lot of light coming out of that thing. It is really bright um, for being run off what was half a volt um, prior to uh, our conversion there. Anyways, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I think it's a work project worth doing. There's probably, oh, I don't know, let's say 20 bucks. Probably not that much, but of parts in there. Um, and one other thing it does is it does make a great way to monitor your fire because the light will dim as the top gets cooler and um, vice versa, I guess. So, yeah. Anyways, there you go. There's my little tag light system. Uh, hope that gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.